Uh, we are a digital marketing company focused on uh, travel and hospitality solutions. So that ranges from destination marketing, cruise lines, um, top tier uh, hotels and resorts, transportation providers, entertainment, food and beverage. Um, all aspects of travel really. Uh, I think the biggest impact that Verb has on the Nova Scotia economy is the fact that um, approximately 91% of our revenue is actually coming out of the United States. Um, so um, it's those export dollars. We're exporting our talents to the world because um, we do work globally. Um, but at the same time, we're bringing that back to Nova Scotia to, um, to, to hire locally, um, bringing those dollars back into the country, hiring local talent and um, investing in our communities here such an open environment. I think um, it's everyone's here super friendly. Uh, you can say something that like I like to have a little bit more challenge in my work sometimes. So it's really it's always different depending on who the who you talk to and just I think that's amazing. Yes so Nova Scotia has had a lot of uh, agencies for a long time but there's also new startups starting now. There's a lot of good jobs in tech that are here. Um, it's growing really quickly and it's really exciting to see. So I think the growth of the tech sector in Nova Scotia is vital to its long-term um, health. So I think it's really about thinking about all different aspects of technology. So um, how can we feed technology into everything we do in a really smart way? Um, and how do we communicate that to other provinces and other countries about why we are the people that you want to come to for those solutions? So I think technology along with all the other innovative things that are happening in the province and in Halifax specifically are really important to the long-term health of the business community, but also key to keeping people here after they graduated from university. We want people to stay and have really rewarding careers. And in order to do that, we need great technology jobs here. Uh, so I was looking for a change in, in cities from Ottawa. I had been there for a number of years. Um, and so when I was looking for a city, uh, three things stuck out to me again was one, the opportunity to find a career in technology and analytics and, and um, have opportunity to work with a number of companies. Um, two was the quality of life, uh, being um, in a city with a, a cost of living and being able to afford and, and live in a city. Um, and lastly, from a personal reason, was just to be close to the ocean and nature and, and uh, see a lot of the landscape that Nova Scotia and Halifax has to offer. So I think a lot of people might have misconceptions about technology or who can do technology. Any education background really can set you up for technology. So a career in technology is just about taking your skill set and thinking about how to apply it online or through other digital channels. So you don't have to have a computer science background, you don't have to be a mathematician. Um, unless you want to be a developer, you know, obviously you'd want to have a computer science background. But people from liberal arts, people in journalism, people in communications, people who have arts degrees, all of these people are really important for technology because we need people who can write really well for the internet, we need people who can be really creative on social channels, and we, we need really smart thinkers who can think about campaigns. And those kind of people can come from any um, walk of life. Yeah, um, my advice for students starting in the career would just to have a really open mind. There's a lot of jobs that you don't even know are jobs and things that you love to do that are passions of yours that you can turn into a career if you try. So definitely just finding the things that you love to do and figuring out how you can do them every day. Don't put yourself in a box just because you have a, a different type of degree. Don't limit yourself to specific things. Just kind of step out there and see what's available. Um, no one should feel like they didn't study the right thing or, or follow the right path to get to a, a job in tech because it's always changing and there's always brand new jobs. And like the job I have now wouldn't have existed even five years ago. So um, yeah, don't get hung up on, on whether you took the right path or not because it's all about what you make of it and who you meet and what you do and how you can learn and, and transform existing skill sets.